feels mapped and measured. Earth still hides places that refuse to be found. Remote, alien, and nearly forgotten, these locations seem as though the planet itself is guarding its most impenetrable secrets. Join us as we reveal the most inaccessible and isolated places on Earth, places so remote there's no turning back. Number 20, Devon Island, Canada. A barren wasteland stretches as far as the eye can see, a landscape so alien it could be mistaken for the surface of Mars. This is Devon Island, the world's largest uninhabited island, located in the remote reaches of the Canadian Arctic. With its harsh, unforgiving terrain and a climate that mirrors the brutal conditions on the Red Planet, it's no wonder NASA has chosen this 21,000 square mile island as a testing ground for future Mars missions. The Houghton Impact Crater, a 14-mile-wide scar left by a meteorite strike 39 million years ago, dominates the island's landscape. Its rocky terrain and extreme weather conditions, with temperatures plummeting to minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, make it a challenging environment for any form of life to thrive. Yet despite the odds, NASA's Houghton Mars Project has successfully operated a research station here since 1997, demonstrating the resilience and adaptability of humans in the face of adversity. Scientists and engineers from around the world flock to Devon Island to test cutting-edge technologies and simulate life on Mars. From rovers designed to traverse the red planet's rugged surface to spacesuits that can withstand the harsh cosmic radiation, the island has become a proving ground for the future of space exploration. The lessons learned here will pave the way for humanity's greatest adventure yet, the journey to Mars. Number 19. North Sentinel Island, India. North Sentinel Island, a mere 31 square miles in the Bay of Bengal, has resisted modern civilization for over 60,000 years. Home to the Sentinelese, one of the world's last uncontacted tribes, this isolated realm is fiercely defended by its inhabitants. The Sentinelese have violently rejected all attempts at contact, determinedly preserving their ancient way of life. Little is known about the Sentinelese their language, culture, or beliefs. Estimates suggest that there are between 50 and 400 individuals living on the island, their numbers dwindling due to the ever-present threats of disease and inbreeding. The Indian government has declared the island off-limits to visitors, respecting the tribe's desire to remain isolated and untouched by the modern world. In 2018, the world was shocked by the tragic death of John Allen Chow, an American missionary who attempted to make contact with the Sentinelese. He lost his life on his third attempt to make contact. Number 18, Surtsey Island, Iceland. In November 1963, a volcanic eruption in the frigid waters south of Iceland gave birth to a new island, a barren chunk of lava and ash that would come to be known as Surtsey. Named after the Norse fire giant Surtur, this 0.5 square mile island emerged as a blank slate, a pristine laboratory for scientists to study the genesis of life on a new landmass. From the moment Surtsey broke the surface, researchers have been carefully monitoring its evolution, witnessing the arrival of seeds carried by the wind and waves, the colonization of hardy plants and insects, and the slow but steady formation of a unique ecosystem. The island has been declared a nature reserve, with access strictly limited to scientific personnel, ensuring that its development remains as natural as possible. Over the decades, Surtsey has provided an unprecedented glimpse into the processes that shape our world. Its volcanic soil has given rise to a diverse array of flora, from mosses and lichens to hardy grasses, and even the occasional tomato plant, inadvertently introduced by visiting scientists. The island's cliffs have become a haven for seabirds, with thousands of puffins, gulls, and petrels making their nests on its rugged shores. Number 17, Danakil Depression, Ethiopia. In Ethiopia's scorching northeast lies a place so inhospitable it seems to defy life itself. The Danakil Depression, a vast expanse of salt flats, sulfur springs, and bubbling lava lakes, presents a landscape more akin to science fiction than the natural world. 
With temperatures regularly soaring above 120 degrees Fahrenheit, it ranks among the hottest places on Earth. At its lowest point, it plunges to about 410 feet below sea level, making it the lowest place in Africa and one of the lowest land areas globally. Despite its hellish conditions, the Danakil is a place of unparalleled beauty and scientific intrigue. The salt flats, formed by the evaporation of ancient lakes, stretch for miles in a dazzling white expanse, broken only by the occasional salt miner who braves the heat to extract the precious mineral. The sulfur springs with their noxious fumes and kaleidoscopic colors vividly showcase the raw power of the Earth's geological forces, and the lava lakes with their bubbling molten surfaces offer a glimpse into the very heart of the planet. But perhaps the most remarkable feature of the Donakil is the life that thrives in its midst. In the hot springs and mineral-rich pools, microorganisms have evolved to withstand temperatures and acidity levels that would be lethal to most life on Earth. These extremophiles, as they are known, are of intense interest to scientists, who believe they may hold clues to the origins of life on our planet and the possibility of life on others. Number 16. Pitcairn Islands, South Pacific. The Pitcairn Islands, a tiny British overseas territory in the vast South Pacific, harbor one of the world's most isolated communities. Home to just 50 inhabitants, this remote archipelago bears a unique history. Its residents are descendants of the infamous bounty mutineers who settled here in 1790, linking the islands to a dark chapter of maritime lore. The mutiny on the HMS Bounty has become the stuff of legend, a tale of rebellion and romance set against the backdrop of the South Seas. In 1789, a group of disgruntled sailors, led by Fletcher Christian, overthrew their captain, William Bly, and set him adrift in a small boat. The mutineers then sailed the bounty to Tahiti, where they picked up a group of Polynesian men and women before setting off in search of a new home. They eventually found it on Pitcairn Island, a remote volcanic outcrop measuring just 1.75 square miles. For many years, the descendants of the mutineers lived in relative isolation, their numbers slowly growing until the island's population peaked at 233 in 1937. However, in recent decades, the community has been rocked by scandal, with revelations of widespread sexual abuse leading to the conviction of six men in 2004. Number 15. Snake Island, Brazil. Off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, lies a place so deadly that it has been declared off-limits to the public. Ilha da Queimada Grande, better known as Snake Island, is a 106-acre patch of land that is home to a staggering population of golden lancehead pit vipers, one of the most venomous snakes on Earth. The golden lancehead, a species found nowhere else in the world, has evolved in isolation on the island for thousands of years. With no natural predators and an abundant supply of migratory birds to feed on, the snakes have thrived, their numbers estimated to be between 2,000 and 4,000. The snake's venom is so potent that it can melt human flesh, and a single bite can kill a person in under an hour. The island's deadly reputation has earned it a place in local folklore, with tales of gruesome deaths and narrow escapes. In the early 20th century, a lighthouse keeper and his family were reportedly killed by the snakes after they invaded the family's home. Today, the Brazilian Navy maintains a ban on visitors to the island, with access granted only to a handful of researchers who are studying the golden lanceheads in their natural habitat. Number 14. Sarisarinyama Mountain, Venezuela. In the remote reaches of southern Venezuela, a mountain rises from the jungle, its sheer cliffs and flat-topped summit standing in stark contrast to the lush vegetation that surrounds it. This is Sarisarinyama Mountain, a place of mystery and legend, where the secrets of an ancient world lie hidden among the twisted rock formations and gaping sinkholes that scar its surface. For the indigenous Yequana people who have lived in the shadow of Sarisarinyama for generations, the mountain is a place of great spiritual significance, a sacred site where the spirits of their ancestors are said to dwell. But for the outside world, Sarisarinyama remained largely unknown until the 1970s, when a group of Venezuelan scientists made a startling discovery. 
Flying over the mountain in a small plane, the scientists noticed a series of massive sinkholes pockmarking the summit, some of them over 1,000 feet deep and 1,000 feet wide. Intrigued, the scientists returned to the mountain on foot, braving the dense jungle and sheer cliffs to explore these strange formations up close. What they found was a landscape, unlike anything they had ever seen before. The sinkholes, known as cimas in Spanish, were not just empty pits, but complex ecosystems in their own right, with their own unique flora and fauna adapted to life in the cool, moist environment of the cave-like formations. Some of the sinkholes were so deep that they had their own microclimates, with temperatures and humidity levels that differed significantly from the surrounding jungle. Number 13, Heard and McDonald Islands, Indian Ocean. Volcanic fury and oceanic might clash in a primordial dance, giving birth to two of Earth's most untamed outposts. Heard Island and McDonald Islands, mere specks in the vast southern Indian Ocean, stand defiant against the elements. These Australian external territories, forged in fire and tempered by relentless winds, have never known human settlement. Here, nature reigns supreme, crafting a raw and unforgiving landscape that few eyes have ever beheld. Heard Island, the larger of the two, is a place of stunning contrasts. Its towering peaks, capped with snow and ice, rise to a height of 9,006 feet at the summit of Mawson Peak, one of only two active volcanoes in Australian territory. The island's rugged coastline is battered by the fury of the Southern Ocean, while its interior is a patchwork of glaciers, lava fields, and windswept tundra. In this harsh and unforgiving environment, life clings tenaciously to every nook and cranny, from the hardy mosses and lichens that blanket the rocks to the seals and penguins that seek refuge on its shores. McDonald Island, just 26 miles to the west, is a smaller and even more inhospitable place. Its rocky shores are pounded by crashing waves, and its interior is a barren, windswept wasteland, devoid of vegetation and almost entirely covered in ice. Yet even here, life finds a foothold, with vast colonies of seabirds wheeling overhead and seals basking on the rocky beaches. Number 12. Valle del Javari, Amazon Rainforest. The Javari Valley, a 33,000 square mile expanse in the Amazon rainforest, stands as a sanctuary untouched by modern civilization. This pristine wilderness harbors some of Earth's last uncontacted tribes. These indigenous peoples have chosen isolation, fiercely defending their traditional way of life against outside influences. For centuries, the tribes of the Javari Valley have lived in harmony with the forest, relying on its bounty for their sustenance and spiritual well-being. They are skilled hunters and gatherers, using traditional weapons like bows and arrows to hunt the abundant game that roams the forest floor. They are also master navigators, using the stars and the rhythms of the forest to guide them through the dense underbrush. But in recent decades, the Javari Valley has come under increasing threat from the outside world. Illegal loggers, miners, and poachers have begun to encroach on the tribe's ancestral lands, seeking to exploit the forest's rich resources for profit. The tribes have responded with fierce resistance, engaging in violent clashes with the intruders, and sometimes paying with their lives to defend their homeland. Number 11, Mariana Trench. Plunging into the Pacific Ocean's darkest depths, a chasm opens up that could swallow Mount Everest whole and still have room to spare. This gargantuan gouge in the Earth's crust is the Mariana Trench, a crescent-shaped scar stretching over 36,000 feet deep, a distance greater than the cruising altitude of commercial airliners. It's the deepest known point on our planet, where the pressure is equivalent to balancing 50 jumbo jets on a single fingertip. In this realm of perpetual darkness and unimaginable force, the weight of the water above could flatten a human body as easily as a hydraulic press crushing a soda can. Yet defying all odds, life flourishes in this extreme environment. Giant single-celled organisms called xenophyophores roam the trench floor, while the translucent Mariana snailfish navigates the crushing depths with ease. Perhaps most remarkably, 
Microbes thrive in scalding hydrothermal vents that line the trench walls, enduring temperatures that would be lethal to most surface-dwelling creatures. Venturing into the Mariana Trench demands not only specialized equipment, but also extraordinary courage. Only a select few have braved the journey to its bottom, facing immense pressure and absolute darkness to glimpse a world utterly alien to human eyes. In 2012, film director James Cameron etched his name in history, becoming the first person to reach the trench's nadir in a solo dive. His specially designed submersible captured breathtaking footage of this otherworldly realm, offering a rare window into one of Earth's last true frontiers. Number 10. Palmerston Island, South Pacific Ocean. In the vast expanse of the South Pacific, a tiny island with a population of just 58 people has become the stuff of legend. A place where the family tree is more like a tangled bush and where every resident can trace their ancestry back to one man. Palmerston Island, a coral atoll in the Cook Islands, is a place where history and genetics have collided in the most unexpected way. The story of Palmerston Island begins in 1863 when an Englishman named William Marsters arrived on its shores with three Polynesian wives. Over the next several decades, Marsters and his wives had a total of 23 children, and those children went on to have children of their own. Today, all but three of the island's inhabitants are direct descendants of Marsters, making it one of the most genetically homogeneous populations on Earth. Life on Palmerston Island is a throwback to a simpler time, with no cars, no shops, and no running water. The islanders live off the land and the sea, growing their own crops and catching their own fish. They communicate with the outside world via a single satellite phone, and they rely on a supply ship that visits just twice a year to bring them essential goods like medicine and fuel. Number 9. Adok, Alaska. On the edge of the Aleutian Islands, where the Pacific Ocean meets the Bering Sea, lies a place that has been called the birthplace of the winds. Adak Island, a treeless, windswept speck of land, is home to the westernmost city in the United States, a place where the weather is so fierce and unpredictable that it has earned the nickname, the birthplace of the winds. For much of the 20th century, Adak was a bustling military outpost, home to a naval air station that played a crucial role in World War II and the Cold War. At its peak, the base was home to over 6,000 personnel, with a full complement of amenities including schools, churches, and even a bowling alley. But with the end of the Cold War, the base was gradually phased out, and by 1997, it was closed for good. Today, Adak is a ghost town, its once thriving streets and buildings slowly being reclaimed by the elements. With a population of just around 100, the town is a shell of its former self, a place where the wind howls through abandoned buildings and the fog rolls in from the sea, obscuring the rugged coastline. For the few hardy souls who call Adak home, life is a constant battle against the elements. The weather is notoriously unpredictable, with gale force winds, driving rain, and thick fog that can roll in at a moment's notice. Number eight. Villa Las Estrellas, Antarctica. Braving temperatures as low as minus 128 degrees Fahrenheit and winds exceeding 200 miles per hour, a small group of people call one of Earth's most inhospitable environments home. Their outpost, Villa Las Estrellas on King George Island, stands as one of only two civilian settlements in Antarctica. Residents of this remote community endure months of darkness and isolation driven by scientific curiosity and a thirst for adventure in a frozen world where modern comforts seem a distant memory. Founded in 1984 by the Chilean government, Villa Las Estrellas is home to a small population of scientists, military personnel, and their families. The settlement consists of a cluster of brightly colored buildings, including a school, a post office, and a small hospital, all designed to withstand the harsh Antarctic climate. The residents of Villa Las Estrellas are a hardy bunch, accustomed to the challenges of life in such an extreme environment. Life in Villa Las Estrellas is not for the faint of heart. 
The residents must endure months of darkness during the winter, when the sun never rises above the horizon. They must also contend with the extreme cold, which can cause frostbite in a matter of minutes, and the isolation of being cut off from the rest of the world for months at a time. Number 7. Cape York, Australia At the northernmost tip of Australia, where the continent reaches out to touch the Torres Strait, lies a place of rugged beauty and untamed wilderness. The Cape York Peninsula, a vast expanse of savanna, rainforest, and mangrove swamps, is one of the last true frontiers of the Australian outback, a place where nature still reigns supreme and the trappings of modern civilization seem like a distant memory. For the indigenous people who have called Cape York home for tens of thousands of years, the peninsula is a place of deep spiritual significance, a landscape imbued with the stories and traditions of their ancestors. The Chungunji people, who have lived on the western side of the peninsula for centuries, have a deep connection to the land and the sea, and their traditional hunting and fishing practices have helped to shape the unique ecosystems of the region. But Cape York is also a place of great natural beauty, with a stunning diversity of flora and fauna that is found nowhere else on Earth. The peninsula is home to over 3,000 species of plants, including the rare and beautiful golden orchid, and a wide variety of animals, from the elusive tree kangaroo to the majestic saltwater crocodile. The peninsula is also home to some of the most spectacular landscapes in Australia, from the rugged peaks of the Iron Range to the crystal clear waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Number 6. Tristan da Cunha, South Atlantic Ocean In the vast expanse of the South Atlantic Ocean, a tiny speck of land emerges from the waves, a place so remote and isolated that it has earned the title of the most distant inhabited island on the planet. Tristan da Cunha, a volcanic island with a population of just 250 people, is a place where nature still reigns supreme and where the trappings of modern civilization seem like a distant memory. Located 1,700 miles from the nearest continental landmass, Tristan da Cunha is a place of stunning natural beauty, with towering cliffs, lush green valleys, and crystal clear waters teeming with life. The island is home to a remarkable array of endemic species, found nowhere else on Earth, from the Tristan albatross, with its impressive 11-foot wingspan, to the Tristan Rock Lobster, a delicacy prized by seafood lovers around the world. But life on Tristan da Cunha is not for the faint of heart. The island is so remote that it can only be reached by a week-long boat journey from South Africa. And even then, rough seas and treacherous currents can make the journey a harrowing experience. Once on the island, residents must contend with a harsh and unpredictable climate, with gale-force winds, driving rain, and thick fog that can roll in at a moment's notice. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Scattered across our planet are places so mysterious and remote that they defy belief. Hidden deep within the rugged landscapes of Tibet, China, there exists a towering natural structure said to rise above the clouds, surprisingly accompanied by few man-made structures. Legends claim there is no return from this most inaccessible and isolated place on Earth, a destination so forbidding that few have dared to approach. Yet some dismiss it as nothing more than an exaggerated myth. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Maydog County, Tibet In the misty mountains of eastern Tibet, a hidden valley lies shrouded in mystery and legend. Maydog County, known as the Hidden Lotus in Tibetan, is a place of stunning natural beauty and deep spiritual significance, a land where the veil between the physical and the divine seems to be at its thinnest. For centuries, Maydog was cut off from the outside world, accessible only by treacherous mountain passes and rickety suspension bridges that hung precariously over raging rivers. The county's isolation was so complete that it was the last place in China to be reached by a road, with the final stretch of pavement laid down only in 2013. Despite its remote location, Medog is a place of incredible biodiversity, with lush forests, cascading waterfalls, 
and a dizzying array of plant and animal life. The county is home to over 2,000 species of plants, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth, and its forests are alive with the sounds of rare and exotic birds, from the iridescent green Temminx tragopan to the elusive ward's trogon. But Maydog is more than just a place of natural beauty. It is also a land of deep spiritual significance, revered by Tibetan Buddhists as a sacred hidden valley. According to legend, the valley was blessed by the Buddha himself, who prophesied that it would one day become a refuge for those seeking spiritual enlightenment. Number 4. Cape Melville, Australia In the rugged wilderness of northeastern Australia, a lost world lies hidden among the towering granite boulders and dense rainforests of Cape Melville. This remote peninsula, located on the edge of the Great Barrier Reef, is a place of incredible natural beauty and scientific wonder, home to a dizzying array of unique and previously unknown species. For centuries, the rugged terrain and dense vegetation of Cape Melville kept it hidden from the outside world, a lost corner of Australia accessible only to the most intrepid explorers. But in recent years, a series of groundbreaking scientific expeditions has begun to unveil the secrets of this extraordinary place, revealing a treasure trove of new and exotic species. Among the most remarkable discoveries at Cape Melville are a series of three new species of reptiles, each exquisitely adapted to life among the boulder fields and rainforests of the Cape. There is the Cape Melville leaf-tailed gecko, an eight-inch long lizard with enormous eyes and a mottled, leaf-like tail that allows it to blend seamlessly into its surroundings. There is the Cape Melville Shade Skink, a tiny lizard with a brilliant blue tail that darts among the shadows of the forest floor. And there is the blotched boulder frog, a rare amphibian that dwells deep within the cracks and crevices of the granite boulders, emerging only during the wet season to breed. Number 3. Hang Sun Dung Cave, Vietnam Hidden deep within Vietnam's Phong Ha Ke Bang National Park, a subterranean marvel defies imagination. Hang Sun Dung, the world's largest cave, reveals an otherworldly realm where nature reigns supreme. Underground rivers carve their path through caverns vast enough to swallow skyscrapers whole. Towering stalagmites form primeval forests, their peaks straining towards distant ceilings shrouded in mist. This colossal underground kingdom stands as a testament to the raw power and beauty of Earth's hidden landscapes. Discovered in 1991 by a local farmer, Ho Khan, the entrance to Hang Son Dung remained a closely guarded secret for nearly two decades. It wasn't until 2009 that a team of British cavers, led by Howard Limbert, finally explored the cave's depths, revealing a realm of stunning beauty and mind-boggling scale. At over three miles long, 660 feet high, and 490 feet wide, Hang Son Dung is a cathedral of stone. The cave's unique geology has created a world within a world, with its own weather system, flora, and fauna. Sunlight filters through massive sinkholes, illuminating underground jungles of ancient trees and rare species found nowhere else on Earth. Visitors to Hang Son Dung, limited to just a few hundred each year, must trek through dense jungle, wade through underground rivers, and scale slippery rock faces to reach the cave's hidden wonders. Number 2. Mount Namuli, Mozambique Rising like a sentinel from the lush forests of northern Mozambique, Mount Namuli is a place of unsurpassed natural beauty and scientific wonder. At 7,940 feet tall, it is the second highest peak in the country, a granite monolith that towers over the surrounding landscape like a giant fist thrust up from the earth. For centuries, Mount Namuli was shrouded in mystery, its misty peaks and dense forests largely unexplored by outsiders. But in recent years, a series of scientific expeditions have begun to reveal the incredible diversity of life that calls this mountain home, from the tiny invertebrates that scuttle among the leaf litter to the majestic birds that soar above the canopy. Perhaps the most remarkable thing about Mount Namuli is the sheer variety of habitats it supports. On its lower slopes, dense rainforests teem with life, their canopies alive with the calls of countless birds and the rustle of small mammals. Higher up, 
the forest gives way to a patchwork of grasslands and rocky outcrops, where rare and endemic plants cling to the thin soils and hardy creatures like the Nomaliopolis, a tiny bird found nowhere else on Earth, flit among the boulders. Number 1. La Rinconada, Peru High in the Peruvian Andes, at a staggering altitude of 16,700 feet, lies La Rinconada, the highest permanent settlement in the world. This ramshackle town, perched on the edge of a gold mine, is a place where survival is a daily struggle, and the pursuit of wealth comes at a terrible cost. The 50,000 inhabitants of La Rinconada endure living conditions that would be unthinkable elsewhere. The air is so thin that even the fittest among them struggle to breathe, and the lack of basic sanitation means that diseases like tuberculosis and mercury poisoning are rampant. The town's water supply is contaminated with heavy metals, and with no proper waste disposal system, the streets are littered with garbage and human waste. Despite the harsh realities of life in La Rinconada, thousands of people flock to the town each year, drawn by the promise of gold. The miners, many of them working illegally, toil in dangerous conditions, risking cave-ins, explosions, and exposure to toxic chemicals. The lucky ones might strike it rich, but for most, the rewards are meager, barely enough to sustain them in this unforgiving environment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.